Before this video starts, quick disclaimer. This method has only been proven to work on grape jello. So if you decide to attempt this method of jello making on any other jello than grape, you are fully responsible for your actions. I am not legally responsible for what happens to you. Okay, first step, the most important step, you want to get a container of jello that you added twice as much of the recommended amount of water. Like this, it has to be in a somewhat rectangular shape. You want to poke it, make sure it's not fully hardened, and then you want to put it down the drain, right? You want to get the jello, put it down the drain, make sure some of it sticks to the bottom, okay? You're looking at this, you're probably thinking, oh, that's fine jello. No! There was twice the amount of recommended water, so you want to get your hand up in there, you want to kind of grab, make it go in between your fingers, right? You want to squeeze it around, you want to you want to grab it, you want to squeeze in your hands, you want to, you want to, you want this container empty. Yeah, look at that. Look at that bad boy. Nice and clean! Alright, next step. I recorded vertically. Next step, take your measuring cup, go to your fridge. It has to be fridge water, alright? Nothing else will do it. It has to be fridge water, alright? Get this cup, fill up to 250 ml. Martin Luther, okay, well, they forgot the K, but now that you have 250 Martin Luthers worth of water, you wanna, you wanna grab yourself a, a pot, or a, or a pan or something, you wanna probably get the exact same one I'm using, you wanna get that bad boy, you wanna throw the water on there, and you wanna, you wanna boil it, you wanna boil that water, oh yeah, set it to high, so as high as it goes, throw that water on. Yeah. Boil it. Boil it. Boil the water. While that water's boiling, you want to grab yourself an even bigger pan or pot. And uh, you want to pour the water, not into the pot, but you actually want to pour it all over the floor. Now, using a towel and your feet, you want to kind of walk on the ground without actually lifting your feet up all over the water just to make sure it's all cleaned and dried. Take that somewhat wet towel and just whip it in the laundry basket. Vertical again, are you kidding me? <sighs> okay, take your measuring cup and fill it once again to 250 Martin Luthers or half a cup. And you're gonna take a little bit of a detour. You're gonna go to the laundry basket with this half full jug of water and pour it on the towel just to make sure the towel is wet you're not gonna believe this but I'm gonna need you to once again fill up that jug to 250 Martin Luther's all right well I went a little bit over but it's fine and add that oh yeah I forgot yeah, pour it all over the ground. Oh no, don't pour it all over the ground. Don't do that. Yeah, oh, oh, trick. Oh, I spilled. Pour that into the pot. And, um, yeah, make sure you shake it. Make sure you get all the water out of it. Make sure it's a non stick cup, too. You don't want water sticking to the inside. But get in the, the pot and put it back on the, uh, the ring. And, what are we doing next? Oh. We're, huh? We're going back for more? That's right, another 250 Martin Luther's is being added. So, what the? That's me? So you're gonna get another 250 Martin Luther's, you're gonna go over to the stove, you're gonna pour that not on the ground, but in the pot. Yep, not stay. Turn on the heat, do it, do it! Now you have sparkling water. What you want to do now is get the grape jello pouches and a pair of scissors and poke breathing holes in the pouch so then the uh, jello powder inside can breathe um, because the longer the jello breathes the better it tastes you want to kind of sift it out after putting the jello powder in you should be left with kind of purpley water you want to use just one hand to try and get that water in the tub I did it with two but do it with one 
Check it out, vape jello. Look at that. Yeah. Now just grab some and squeeze it. This is the last time, I promise. We get 500 Martin Luther's worth of water, and you want to go over to the vape jello and pour it in uh, the opposite way it was intended to be poured in. See that funnel on the left? Don't use that. Use the non funnel on the right and just pour it in with the rest of the jello. Looking good. Now, the last and final step is to burn your hand while well, you're gonna put it in the fridge. You need to make sure there's a lid on it too. You wanna use an oven mitt and kind of struggle to pick it up. Even though it's clearly not difficult, you want to take an excessive amount of time to actually pick it up. All right, so you, you grab it, yep. You set your phone down. Look at the transition, look at that. And now it's in the fridge.